We're back to Beijing because we've been reporting from Tiananmen Square this morning. You may have seen us talk to uh, Mark Stone a short while ago. And look, we've, we're back in contact with him. Uh, he was detained by police earlier. He was talking to us from the police van, um, taking him away from Tiananmen Square just a few moments ago. Uh, Mark Stone, can you hear me? Can you get us up to date with where you are now? Hello, yes, um, still in the police van. Uh, should be um, leaving in just a second uh, for this rather surreal experience, um, which gives you a little insight into uh, what can happen sometimes. We are coming off now. The lady here is from the police. She's filming me as I'm filming you. Um, you know, this almost may look like a setup. I assure you it isn't. It's entirely genuine. We were here uh, in Tiananmen Square filming, doing lives through the day, and um, now we've. Um, They've stopped us because of one word, I think it was. So we were talking about the 1989 protest. They didn't like that. They've stopped us. And so now we're, um, we've been brought to the police station. What they don't realise, I don't think, is, is that this is to you now in London. Um, uh, and they think that this is something we're doing for later, uh, which is why, uh, for now, we're being allowed to film, which is in itself remarkable. And I should make the point that throughout this, the police have been entirely... Uh, thank you. Um, uh, civil with us, um, but nonetheless they are detaining us um, and I'm not sure where we are now. Uh, this is entirely surreal for me as well. Um, you can see this lady here filming us as she's filming you and the police are outside. Um, so as I say, I believe that they probably think that we're filming this for a report that we'll put together later, uh, but uh, because of the kit we've got, uh, we're able to bring it to you live. Very strange. Let's have a quick look outside, see if we can see what's going on, because there's more going on outside than there is in there. Um, where we are, I think, given what I looked at when we were driving, we drove out of Tiananmen Square and into the Forbidden City. Anyone who knows uh, Beijing, we're on a, one of the edges of the Forbidden City, which is just to the north of Tiananmen Square. And as I say, through the day... Sorry, Mr. I... Stone, can I just interrupt you a little bit? Of course. Because this is inside the park. Right. And uh, by the media policies in China, and if you like to go on with your media work, you need to get permissions from okay. the administration office of this park first. OK. Well, and one... they, given, they didn't give you any permission for you to go on with your media. But we, we had permission Sorry, to be in Tiananmen have, Square. I'm afraid you have to, no, but this is inside the park. You okay. need to yeah. negotiate with the administration office of this park. Okay. Well, they they didn't get, allow you to do the media work here. The one I'm thing, the one thing that I what, try not, to understand is yeah. why we were detained when all we were doing <clears throat> was reporting on no, the leadership you are not, transition. You are now detained in this park. What you need but to we're do not free to go. <clears throat> we have been told, and the okay. officials will, talk, will come here to talk to you. Uh, what we you, you can just have, sit here and just wait a little bit patiently and they will come very soon and talk with you about the matters. But I don't know what they are going to talk about you. So you are not detained here and also you are not allowed to go on with your media work here because you haven't got the permission from the administration class of this park. So, thank you very much. Okay. Would you like to stop? Okay. Thank you. All right. I'd like to stop. Thank, thank you very much. That's, okay. uh, that's as much, have, have about as much information as we've been getting. You, you brought us in a police van. Yeah, we were yeah. brought into a in a but police van hope that the one staff of the administration's office of this park come here to talk to you. I would like to be very glad to do the interpretation for you because they cannot speak English, but yeah. they didn't okay. allow you. And to so go you don't know why we're here either? No. I don't know what they are going to talk about. But you've about been with us officers. throughout this whole affair. Hmm. But for the first okay. step, we are just right. making the routine check for your certificates. But for okay. now, at this right. stage, I don't know what the officials are okay. going to talk about okay. you. Okay? We'll leave it there. It looks so like we've got a bit Would you like of... to stay here just okay. so, I mean, right. a, 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 a bit more patiently? Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, there's a great example that utterly civil throughout. But this is a classic example uh, of the way things uh, seem to work sometimes I in China. Say, Back to you. you. Your behavior has been OK, and Mark Stone uh, being told he has to switch off the camera, having been detained in Tiananmen Square. Now, back to you, back to you. OK, Mark, we'll try and rejoin him a little bit uh, later on. But let's just show you the moment when he was stopped while filming in Tiananmen Square. He was doing broadcast with Sky News earlier on. Let's just show you the moment that he was uh, detained. Hello. Yeah, not very well. We're currently being detained by the Beijing police. Uh, which is, uh, we're getting off of the van as we speak. So this is a new one. Uh, taking a. Uh,
So that was the moment that Mark Stone was detained in uh, Beijing. He's been able to broadcast live from the police van that's taken him, as we saw just earlier, to a room where we expect him to be questioned. Uh, he was able to continue broadcasting. He's now been told to turn off his camera, but we may try and catch up with him a little bit later on and find out exactly what happened.